Assalamualaikum and good day to all. Today, I would like to present my research on titled The Impact of Green Building Certificate on Firm Financial Performance. Green building is defined as the practice of creating structures and using process that are environmentally responsible and resource efficient throughout a building's life cycle, which is starting from sitting to design until the renovation and deconstruction. The green building practice is a complement of the classical building design, which is concerned on the economy, utility, durability, and comfort, and it, it is known as a sustainable or high-performance building. The definition of the green building certificate it is a proof that the firm are successfully reaching the standard guidelines of green building criteria, which is fixed by the green building council. According to the Yuling 2014, the Green Building Practice, which is introduced on 2009, is known as the Malaysian government's commitment to address the environmental issues such as degradation of green space in urban area. According to the Tony Annal, which is the chairman of Green Building Council, Green Building Practice is introduced as a global solution, particularly for climate change and sustainable economic development issue. There are three benefits that offer from the green building practice, which is environmental, social, and economic. However, in this study, we just focus on the economic benefit, which is gained through the energy saving and property price. According to the prior study, it is proved that the implementation of environmental practice in business contribute high return through the property value, rental rate, and maintenance and operation cost. It is proved that the environmental practice is good for investment and provide positive impact towards the firm's financial performance. In addition, according to the H. Hawk and Quickly 2013, since 2012, there has been a steady growth in the number of owners who see a 10% or greater increase in asset value for new green building compared to the conventional building, which is this research was done with the collaboration from various countries including United States and United Kingdom. Okay. The problem statement. The problem of this study is there are lack of green building practice, which is specifically less than 2% of building in Malaysia has been rated with a sustainability tool and only 9% of property developers involved with the green building practice. According to the Khan et al. 2019, there are lack of exposal in various countries about the green building studies, especially in developing countries, including Malaysia. This happened due to, two, due to four reasons, which is first is lack of awareness and knowledge, second lack of local demand, third is high in upfront cost, and fourth is a, the complexity to get the certificate. By reviewing the various literature that address about the green building topic, can at all remark that the study on the financial impact of green building is not received attention by prior study. According to the who Gutman and Hoy Major 2014, a study related to the financial benefit of green building is very important in order to determine the ability value of this investment. Therefore, this gap needs to be filled in order to provide the construction industry with additional insightful information. Lastly, this study can figure out that the problem statement of the study is first, lack of green building certificate implementation among the developers. Second, the study on the financial impact of green building is not received attention by prior study. Therefore, the objective of this study is to evaluate the impact of green building practice on the firm financial performance. The significance of the study is first to uplift investors and developers' interest toward the green building development, provide an easy, effective, efficient and quick decision-making among developers, and lastly, of course, to may contribute to the new existing literature on green building topics. Literature review. The literature review is divided into three sections. First, who adopts certificate? Second, the relationship between certificate implementation and firm financial performance. Last one is measurement of firm financial performance. Who will adopt certificate? Normally, the firms that are already established in terms of the size, operation period, have an experienced manager and firm that have low capital structure adopted the quality or environmental standard certificate. 
In addition, the firm involving with the CSR and the corporate governance status at the firm level also play an important role in the in decision to implement green building certificate. The relationship between certificate. Firms that have certificate improve their financial performance, such as have high economic return compared to the firm that not have certificate. According to the Majumda and Shah, uh, the firm take about 4.8 years in order to gain the economic revenue. Management of firm's financial performance. Financial performance is defined as the firm's ability to gain and manage resources for their business in the future. According to the Chu and Puchit 2005, the firm financial performance may represented by firm profitability, firm growth and also firm market value. Among these three measurements, firm profitability is are the most common used by the researcher. According to the Glee Washburn and Miller 2005, the profitability demonstrates a firm's past ability to generate return, which is measured through the return on asset, return on sale, return on investment, and also return on equity. Based on the previous study, the conceptual framework of the firm financial performance of green building certificate is developed. In the conceptual framework, it has three item which is independent variable, dependent variable and the outcome. Outcome is represent the profitability which is counted through the return on asset and return on equity. Propensity score matching is used in the study. About the data collection and source of data, it collected through five sources which is first through the focus group discussion, second through Green Building Index websites, that is from the Bursa Malaysia database, then Suruhan Jaya Syarikat Malaysia and also from the Jabatan Perumahan Negara. This study involves 334 financial and annual report of property developer for the year 2015. This shows the step for propensity score matching technique. At the final stage, the average of financial impact of green building practice is estimated. The positive value of the average shows that the green building certificate have positive financial impact but the negative average value shows that the green building have negative financial impact. Result and discussion. Based on the logic result, it suggests that developers that have large size, older age and involving in CSR are more likely to adopt green building certificate. This three table shows that the average treatment of uh, the Green Building Index Certificate on firm financial performance based on three different approach. Based on these three different approach, it shows that the Green Building positively affect the return on asset but negatively affect the return on equity. Specifically, the average return on asset for developer with Green Building Certificate was increased by 7.3%. 4.7% and also 5.3% based on the nearest kernel and radius matching respectively. Average for the return on equity for the developer with green building certificate decreased by 1.79%, 0.89%, 0.5% based on these three approach. This study can conclude that the green building certificate positively affects the return on asset but negatively affects the return on equity. For the policy of implementing green building certificate, the government may introduce a new policy related to the business loan by reduce the interest rate in order to attract the developer. Second, the government may propose the new policy by setting the green building practice as a mandatory practice for certain space such as implement solar panel and water harvesting, especially for those who use the green space in large area. This study has two limitations, which is first, the impact of green building certificate on return on investment and return on sale cannot be performed due to the data limitation. Second, there are lack of variable, which is firm characteristic tested due to time and financial constraint. Therefore, in the future study, it is recommended to use the larger data set and strictly achievable data. 
Then, study on the comparison of the financial performance before and after green building certificate adoption. The last one is study about the factors influencing the green building practice. That's all. Thank you.